things appeared on walls and then disappeared. Oh, oh stop no. it, Adam! Yeah. Stop it, really! Are you duck? So we're back, and guess what? I've got actually got a client in today. So you're going to watch me do a client. We're going to do it in Phil, and I'm going to introduce you to Kerry. Let's have a round of applause. <laughs> Kerry's actually a nail tech, and she's from Stoke on Trent. So you know, she's the finest of the finest. This one's going to need subtitles, isn't it? When you two are talking, because you will use <laughs> stogie words that nobody else knows. I think that Kerry is not quite as broad stokey as me. No, I don't think I am. This is what Kerry has had on previous. When were these done? Can you remember? Four weeks ago. Four weeks ago. So we've got four weeks growth. We've got a little bit of tint on this one. You do tint, lash tints and yeah. all that shebang yeah. as well. But today we're going to completely change the design. But first of all... We need to rebalance these because if we look underneath, you can see the growth underneath as well. Now, how do you feel about this nail underneath? The growth? Yeah. I don't really like it. Yeah, it's nasty, isn't it? Mm. Nasty. Shall yeah. we get rid of that? Yes, please. Yeah. And well. there's a um, splinter in that one. A splinter? A splinter. Where? On the side. Like a te Teenage thing. Mutant Ninja Turtle. Oh, a tiny crack. She means yeah. like a tiny little crack. I can see here. I thought you got an actual splinter in your no. finger then. I was like, oh, I was ready for it. Squeeze it out. I do like things like that. I, do you know what I've been doing lately? Watching TikToks on um, ear extractions where they extract loads of crap out the ears. Oh my God, it's so satisfying. <laughs> I'm weird. <laughs> I'm a little bit weird. So, because Kerry is a nail tech, can you see how we've got a little bit missing here? We've actually got a bit of design missing there. And then let me just show you the thumb. So, Kerry has admitted that um, a little bit started to, because melt and lift away because she's uses acetone and things like that. And she might have peeled it off. However, the um, jelly top coat's still there. Only, only the design. Only the design. Only the design. The nail's still intact, which is good because, and you'll know this, when, when clients come back to you and they booked in for a fill and they come with half the nails missing because they've been a bit stressed, they've decided that they will just chew them off a bit. Um, that's really annoying. So if you ever do that to me, I won't be very happy with it. I'm just going to get the distractor out. What we're gonna do is take off the stones. We've not done too bad with the stones. Yeah, the four weeks not bad. And I'm using the purple ceramic bit. And what we're going to do with that is take off the design. So not only are we going to take off the design, so where Kerry says she's got this little split, we need to get rid of that so we can put fresh product on. So it's here. And you can see where it's cracked. We have a little bit of lifting as well. So we're going to get rid of that. So I'm going to change the position of Kerry's finger. So I can come in easily. If I keep the finger like this, I, I'm going to raise my shoulder. She's going to give me a bad shoulder and a bad neck. And I'm going to be in such a weird position. So I'm going to just flip that to the side. She's going to make me more comfortable. It's not uncomfortable for Kerry, is it Kerry? No, it's not good. And we're just going to take off that product there. So we can pad it out with fresh product. And what I want to look at as well is, if we look at the side view of this, can you see how the apex has moved quite far down? It's come further down, so I'm just going to soften this a little bit. It should be moved down a little bit. See the difference? And then this will have product in the back third, and it'll all be rebalanced. And it's, it, it's as simple as that. So we're going to take this design off. Kerry has got acrylic on. So 
Now, if you know, you know you're going to rebalance as you take the design off. You know that bit that I've just taken off on this nail? Well, we can do that at the same time. So if you think, yeah, we're going to rebalance and we need to just get a bit of bulk off this section, you can do that while you are taking off your design. Now, because I'm going to come quite far across to here, I need to support the tip. If we don't support the tip, that could potentially just fling off. Because the only thing holding that on now is this product here. So, if I can show you this valley. Can you see that little valley? Ooh. This little dip here that we've put out. The B file. Mm -hmm. That'll be filled with product, so... We it'll be strong again have you got when people come to you for the nails have you got them coming to have santa on yeah yeah, yeah. a lot of people come in and have santa rudolph snowflakes yes i think snowflakes yeah and how, how do you book them in do you book in an extra time for things like that yeah we have got Clients that do like the nail art and a little bit of design, so we do book the extra time for that. Yeah. And then we have got the clients also that just like a French manicure or just a gel polish. Yeah. And so obviously that doesn't add one. Yeah. Sorry guys, but nails are going to get more expensive because everything's getting more expensive. Whether it's the salon, yeah. running, running, costs. Run, running cost of the salon. Are more expensive products are getting more expensive um everything is just more expensive so you know your nail tech can't take the hit on that no and you go to the supermarket and pay it don't you you do so why wouldn't you pay it for your nail mm. i'm just going to ease these back because they don't need a massive amount of um filing so i'm going to use the cuticle bit with the electric file but Kerry's cuticles are quite good, so I'm just going to use the cuticle bit. I probably won't even need the proximal fold bit, so I'm just going to ease them back. If I was just going to use the cuticle bit and the proximal fold bit, I wouldn't necessarily have to push these back. So, if you've seen the Lewis Hamilton um, nails, they were done on Kerry. Are you a Lewis Hamilton fan as well, or? Did you just make you a Lewis Hamilton fan? No, we are Lewis Hamilton fans in our house. Um, my son's a massive Lewis Hamilton fan. Um, and he was 18 back in August. So I thought I'd go Lewis Hamilton inspired. Ooh. For his 18th birthday. And I, obviously, that was music to my ears. Because I was like, wow, yes. How much time have you got? Because we're going to go full hammer time. Yeah, we went all out. Yeah. And I did have to peel with Hamilton off my nails so I could keep it. Yeah, you did. You, you peeled it off so you could keep it off you. Ah. Didn't get in trouble that time. So no. that's a good reason to peel something off. Yeah. yeah. But you managed to peel just the design off, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. So clever. About it took a while. It took me a while. You just like slowly, slowly. Yeah. It wasn't like pecking a sticker off a ball. No. Where you try and do it slowly. You know, it's dead and it all goes and it all just it. Yeah, it does, don't it? No. I saw a hat the other day, um, for taking stickers off bottles, um, get the hair dryer on it, warm it up with the hair dryer and then peel it off. Not sure that'll work the same on your nails. No. No. I won't try that. <laughs> so I'm using the cuticle bit. To clean up that cuticle area and make sure that there is no non-living tissue on that nail plate because if there if I leave any non-living tissue on there then it's going to affect the um, adhesion of the product in that area so it's also a brazier it but its main job is to clean up those nail folds. So when Kerry was here last time having her nails done, 
Yeah. It was all a bit weird. There was a there was a weird sort of vibe. Weird vibe in here. Yeah. A weird vibe that we both picked up on. And there were two handprints on the wall over there. What? It was yeah. like a hand and footprint, wasn't it? Yeah. On the wall. That appeared on the wall. You were like appeared. a grey. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Adam, you've got to sleep here tonight. Yeah, apologies in advance. Okay. Right. It was weird, so wasn't it? Where are we at now? Exactly. They were this side of that. When were you last here? Um August. Okay. You did take a photo of them, didn't you, on your phone? Yeah, we'll have to have a look. But you wiped the wall. Yeah, I wiped the wall to see one if of it them, was anything. One of them did fade slightly, but the other one was still there. Yeah. Well, it's not there now. No. Yeah, it was weird, Adam. And it was this sort of time of day, wasn't it? it yeah. Was day. It wasn't, it wasn't late, night. so it wasn't... It was just... There was definitely... <laughs> A presence. <laughs> a footprint is in like a shoe footprint or a footprint is in like a foot? A foot. A foot. How high up on the wall? That's what I mean. High. Like, high. Mid window. Was it pointing high. down? Yeah, mid window. Like Upwards. Up. So as if somebody like put their foot against it and like, yeah. leaned, like you know, when somebody stretches. Yeah. But the hand and foot were like. Did we go out? Did we about that far yeah. apart? Right. It was weird. Okay. Not really had that kind of... But what was the feeling like? You said you had a funny feeling and then you noticed yeah. that. Who noticed it first? You. We were just chatting and, and you, just went... you looked off. I mean, what's um... made... Something made yeah, me look it's over there. White... It's just a white wall, yeah. isn't it? You know? Something made me look over there. Like somebody's watching you. Yeah. That kind of vibe. Right. Weird. And Invisible they do it. Spider Man. One legged, one armed Spider Man. Yeah. Good. Weird. Somebody needs to comment and tell us what it means. What does that mean? So I watched a documentary um, about the most ha haunted house in Wales the other day. Okay. Is it on Netflix? Uh, no, it's on BBC iPlayer. It was a BBC Three documentary, four part. Okay. It's short as well. They're only half an hour long. Yeah. It's worth a watch. Um, and the most haunted house in Wales. Things appeared on walls and then disappeared. Oh, oh stop no. it, Adam! Yeah. Stop it, really. Uh huh. Like but that it's did like happen. that, but they looked like sort of a stain, and then they would go. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it was. was. It was like a stain. We oh no, Adam! Had, we no, I, I, are, you, are you taking the piss? No, I'm not. Honestly. You're taking the piss. We could watch the documentary if you want. It's really good. Oh no, Adam! <laughs> oh, because I've never seen anything like that before, so I thought it was a bit weird. So yeah. this house was um, where it was. It was sort of out in the middle of, like you know, the woods. Effectively, a little bit like where we are now, you know, and out in the sticks. Yeah, oh, for God's sake, can you stop referring it to it? And, um, and there was a gravestone in the garden, and apparently it was from this little girl back in like the 1600s or something. Okay, and people like the, the, the boy who lived there, he was Darren's, right. and he would sit and talk to her. Talk um, to the ghost. To the, to the girl, yeah. And oh, to the to to but the girl was dead. Obviously. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, and it was quite a big story. Like it was huge. The, like this was back in the uh, late nineties, early two thousand. Okay. And um, it's these things appeared on the walls, and carvings would appear and then disappear and stuff. No. Yeah. And they would be in Welsh. So it was quite a Welsh, like, cause yeah. the show itself was half in Welsh. Yeah. Oh, but um, they were long words then, weren't they? Yeah, long words. <laughs> Lots of L's. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like someone's got like that on a typewriter. Yeah. <laughs> a typewriter. A typewriter. How old are you? Go on, a typewriter. Oh Just my God. literally showing your age. A keyboard, I mean, a keyboard. I came to work today in my chariot. <laughs> 
So this boy, who, do you, who, who saw the things that were happening? Well, apparently it happened before this, this family moved in. People had always said it was a haunted building. And did they move in knowing it was a haunted building? Um, I don't think anybody kind of told them. Cheers. Um, well, but sound. Thanks for that. There was a lot of sort of people saying it's lies and the mother was doing it for attention and things like that. And yeah. She knew all of the older stories and so it was interesting. It was a very interesting documentary, but yeah, things just sort of like stains appeared on walls and then disappeared. I wonder if there is a grave Close by. on this property. It's a big property. It's a very, very big property. I wonder if we need to speak to Andrea and see if there is one. Because somebody's trying to get out that window. So I'm using a fine sanding band. This sanding band is made with ceramic particles as well. It makes it more effective and less likely to heat up. So we're just making sure that we've blended that acrylic in and the natural nail is etched. You don't need to add too much pressure, especially on the natural nail. It's safer to blend in your acrylic to the natural nail with a sanding band or a hand file rather than a bit like a carbide bit or a diamond cut bit or a ceramic bit. It's a lot more gentle. So you have more control with an electric file, like blending it in than a hand file, because obviously you, yeah. there's a small surface area that you can kind of see, isn't there? Yeah, you can really like concentrate on one area with an electric file. Whereas with a hand file, you know, it is a bigger area, like you say, you're just going to touch more of the nail. Let's get rid of the dust, give them the dust over. So prep is done. Now we're going to wipe over with cleanup solution. This is going to dehydrate the nail. So it'll dehydrate that natural nail. It's going to clean it. It's going to get rid of any of those little particles of dust. You kind of want to rub it around. So you're kind of pushing the cuticle back as well. So we're going to use an empty pot of acrylic as our dampened dish. Don't screw it on. If you screw it on, you'll never get it off. <laughs> you'll never get it off. I want to try and get that off. Oh, here we go. I just want to see, that's all. I want to see, because I'm interested in how much it's melted. Like, it's, oh my God, it really has, hasn't it? <laughs> My God. It will melt. I'm interested in like the, the fact yeah. that it's done that. It will melt this. Wow. All this inside, this mm. won't melt. Yeah. This would lid. melt and this would melt. Right. That's why I just place it on top. Yeah. Don't oh, wow. screw it. So it just literally bonds it. Yeah. So we're going to use glass slipper, which is our clear acrylic. Because it won't come out of it. I was just being wally. So now we've dehydrated, we're going to prime. We're going to use the Kirsten Mickey Primer. This is acid free. An acid free primer has a sticky layer to have with bonding adhesion. So just on that natural nail. So can you see that kind of like a sheen? Mm. So that's your sticky layer. It acts like double sided sticky tape.
Not only are we going to fill the back portion, so where the cuticle is, we are going to lay the apex back in there, in the back third of the nail. So you can see now that's balanced. This one we've got this little section here that needs filling as well, so you need to make sure that that is filled. Again, if we look at the side view, we've rebalanced that. You'll notice that we've not done anything with the length yet. You don't need to do the length until the product is on. If we started to file the length and it has no protection at the back, we're going to put more stress on the natural nail. I'm kind of stressed enough, do you know what I mean? Just don't need that. <laughs> stressed, not. stressed enough, try and get ready for crumble. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I don't agree. <laughs> it's the most busiest time of the year for nail techs. <laughs> Is the worst part people thinking they can get in last minute. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, ringing up, wanting appointments. And you're dead nice, I bet, and it's like you try to fit them in if you can. Yeah, giving up just, your lunch hour, yeah. staying later. What, you have a lunch hour? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <Those things. laughs> wow. Mm. So you just have like room. our intravenous food drink. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think that. Lots of chocolate biscuits. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of cups of tea and chocolate yeah. biscuits keep you going. But it's always cold tea because you never get to drink a hot cup of tea. You know, as you a don't. Tech no, you don't. You're right there. So you just get used to drinking it cold, don't you? You do. So you notice that I'm pointing the finger down. So the product will not run into that cuticle area. So I'm going to use a 180 grit file. I don't need. You could use a 150 grit if you wanted to. And we're going to file the shape. I'm going to put some tissue down, but I'm going to talk a lot. So I'm not going to put the distractor on because it's a distraction. It's a distraction. The distractor is the extractor, by the way. Say that three times fast. Distractor, extractor, distractor, extractor. So, side walls first. Then we whip around the cuticle area. I don't want to do the shaping until the cuticle area is done. And I'll tell you for why. If there is too much product at the cuticle area and you start to file this free edge, because this is thicker and won't flex with the vibration, it could pop off. Could. Good touch. Sorry, I'm being stupid now. I think if you could do this, we could file them both at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I could be like ninja fighting. <laughs> that didn't work. Anyway, back to the cuticle area. I want these side walls to come nice and straight. So when you have a client that has had nails on for maybe a bit longer than probably carry us. Especially when you come to the second fill, they could start to drop down and you'll need to make sure this is nice and straight. So straight in line with the finger. Then I'm going to come up and over. Same on this side, not touching the middle, yeah. I'm going to get this free edge done now. And then I'm going to marry those two sides together. 
this side and this side because you can see I haven't filed there. Can you see? We're going to marry them together and we're going to check the apex. Does anything need softening? follow the same filing routine on every single nail there's more chance of them looking uniform and your body will just have muscle memory but also if you make any mistakes your body will get that, that muscle memory as well and that's how people build up like bad habits so I noticed then that I needed to rest my hand on something so I've got the my little owl pad from GB Wrist Rest because now I'm far better positioned. I'm not going to like be lifting my shoulder and causing myself an injury like I do normally. Well, I did do. I'm going to lob my head off because Adam doesn't like it getting out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> but you thought Halloween was over. What we're going to do now is you know them monkey nails underneath. <laughs> Can you get rid of them? So we're going to use the secret weapon bit. Get that one first. So don't just shove it all the way down. Bring it out a smidge like that. And underneath. We're going to clean underneath. You want to be really careful of the hypernychium. checking it because you don't want to take away product better so I'm gonna buff now with a 120 grit buffer these are our replaceable buffers that go onto the metal file so it's really sturdy you can put a file on one side you can put a buffer on the other side you can do what you want you can custom make your file into whatever you want. So they're all filled, ready for design. I'm excited to do the design, but you've got to keep watching. Keep watching, it's going to be the next video. But that is how to fill an acrylic nail extension from start to finish. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and all that shebang. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ta-ra!